All right, welcome to the t- amateur tech talk radio. <laughs> I already That's screwed right. it up, man. Oh my very god! Very first one. The very first words. We had oh to screw Lord. up early enough. <laughs> to think. <laughs> so this is amateur tech talk radio episode one. Um, I, my name Wonderful. is Dean Hansen, and with me here is Ronnie Rodriguez. Correct. He's chatting with me over Skype. How's it going, yes. man? Isn't that the best way to do it? I think so. Sounds pretty yeah. good. Doing good. Yeah. Kind of sure. nervous about the whole first episode. Well, but. I'm actually terrified to think that somebody <laughs> might actually listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> me too, actually. And right now I'm just like chill because I'm like, yeah, who's going to listen to this anyway? But it's just going to be me and you, and then all of a sudden Haley's going to hear it, and and she'll show like, somebody. a bunch of... Bunch of dorks. <laughs> but totally. it, anyway, welcome to the show. Hopefully, this is eventually published, and we're not just talking to ourselves here. Um, yes. But yeah, this we're basically just a couple of dudes, amateur guys. About don't we don't really know. We're not we're not uh, experts on in the tech world. We're not bloggers. We don't go to CES. We're just the consumer, the end guy. And we. It's true. <laughs> what was it? Two days ago, I. We were talking about some iPad rumors, and uh, I said, hey, we should start a podcast. Yeah. And, and, and here we uh, are. <laughs> immediately, I took it upon it. I'm like, dude, yeah, we already do this anyway. We're arguing all the time yeah, we about don't, tech. and We don't agree with anything. Well, yeah. <laughs> Well, I like Android, so yeah, yeah we're not going to agree on anything. No, because he he likes in you know inferior products, and I <laughs> <laughs> here we go. And so yeah, so uh, we decided that tonight we would actually try and do a test, and then I all of a sudden took some notes and said, "All right, let's just do our first episode." And Ronnie's like, right. "Holy shit!" Um, yeah. <laughs> so here we that, are. That's accurate. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, um, so I'm just going to introduce you. Give me a little bit about your background so people at least have some reason to listen to our opinions on tech. Mm, what would be my background? <laughs> Technician um, is literally in your job title. <laughs> yes, I guess, yeah. I'm, I'm sort of a, a maintenance technician <laughs> for a, uh, I can't even think of anything right now, a for sick- a transit agency. And we're just, you know. Young and everything, just like electronics. Yeah, we. Yeah, um, I don't know. I'm the I same. Guess. We have the same job. We we work we, together. We do. Me and Correct. Ronnie have been working together for what five years, six years, seven, yeah. six. Yeah, it's about six is five. And I can think back to when we first started working together, just sitting there arguing about tech stuff back there on the fuel island, checking out the iPhone four. Yeah. And that's how that's how we uh, kind of met. Yeah, and the and the we iPad. Yeah, the iPad wasn't even out yet. Um, you bought that old iMac. That what was it? That Mac eMac for thirty yeah. bucks, and we like took it apart. <laughs> Educational Mac. So yeah, yeah that's that kind of big. That's kind of been our relationship. Uh, is tech? You know, we get really excited about the new stuff, the new phones. We've, you know, we've both had. Lots of different phones. And we pretty really much have expensive. the latest right now. Yeah. Um, it, it's just always been a thing. Absolutely. And we so. and Ronnie helped me build my first computer, which most nerds build it when they're five years old. I didn't build my first one until I was like 28. <laughs> and Ronnie and that was, was one. much younger. <laughs> yeah, and you taught me how to do everything. I didn't know how to do any of that stuff. And, and, and you, it was actually fun. Yeah. yeah, so Ronnie's definitely... He, he can... Uh, you can <laughs> definitely yeah. fix computers a lot better than I can as far as getting everything running. Every time I, I he, guess you're I, the one I call when my yeah. OS isn't working, that's for sure. I like getting my hands dirty, I guess, here and there. Well you just the replaced you just replaced an in, engine in a car like two days ago, didn't you? Yes. Like the whole I, I just I'm always doing different things. I always want to get involved into how things work. Yeah. I think Absolutely. engineering would be good for me if I was to follow yeah. some well, path. Well, that's cool. Yeah, that's 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 <laughs> Ronnie. I'm I'm I have a little bit different background. I guess I I like studio recording is kind of what I went to college for, and uh, and I've set up this podcast over the course of the last twenty four hours, which is wonderful. I was going to say <laughs> this is you're a sound engineer. Look at you putting all this together for us. And it's so wonderful. that's kind of my background. We meet in the middle with 
you know, with phones and computers and all, and tablets, and uh, we always argue. We argue a lot about what <laughs> Mac's going to put out and how much they're going to charge for it. Um, yeah, and the storage sizes and the how boring oh their God. OS is. And, yeah. Well, September 9th, so I mean, we might as well just jump right into it. September 9th, just coming up sure. around the corner, we got a, a Mac event. Everybody I- knows about it. Yes. Go ahead. What were you gonna say? Not gonna lie. That's that's all about that's about everything I know. I don't research this stuff anymore. Yeah, yeah. And I guess before we jump into that segment, we should kind of introduce the show. Is gonna be us kind of. We're gonna hopefully do a show every two weeks, and um, we're gonna go out and just kind of research things we normally do for fun anyway. Uh, what phones are coming out? You know, what's cool, what's not? What do we think is going to be lame? What do we think is going to fail, or whatever? We'll come up yeah. with some articles, and and then we'll meet up here, probably every other Thursday night, and record a podcast, just talking about it and how it's going to affect us as consumers, not as super high end tech guys who have un- unlimited money to do a bunch of reviews on a bunch of stuff. We're just kind of just we're the end result. We're the guys who actually buy the stuff and actually have to rely on it and use it. Exactly, and it's a little more than just like here are the specs and exactly. This is what I thought it was like in two weeks. You know, yeah. it's a little more to it. I think uh-huh. you know, when you live with a device for six months, you know, there's a lot can be said. And when you're invested in that device, and you can't exactly. really just trade it in. I mean, we got kids, <laughs> we got we got bills. <laughs> like, yes. if if we have to spit a, you know cough up an extra hundred dollars that we weren't expecting, we're like you know we're not really eating lunch that week. <laughs> yes, you're crippled. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Um, so yeah, that's what the show is going to be. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get back to September 9th, which is coming up. Um, we had a bit of discussion, a disagreement. I don't know where you stand on it now, <laughs> but definitely with the iPad Pro that's getting all the uh, attention right now. Yeah. Um, I was basically saying, and you, I don't know if you were really actually saying you thought it was going to be this way. Rather, you thought you were more just saying you wanted it to be. Something exactly. totally new, almost like a hybrid, right? More of a wish list that I had. I don't really know much about the product, but right. if they're calling it a pro, basically, I think it should be something exciting. I think it should have a new OS. I think it should be totally different than just an iPad. And that's basically what I was saying. And me on the other end was saying they haven't, everything they've made in the last six years has been the same thing just different sizes <laughs> and yes. I, i'm the ipad i'm the i'm the mac guy i love their products and i i see the use for them and i love them but at the same time they don't make that big of a, a leap um yes. you know i you're talking about an entirely new category well of, it's because it's about time if you think about it it's been so long everything's the same yeah and android is moving along so quickly i think they should they need to do something radical i think the iPad Pro sounds like it could be the device that would get us there, you know? Yeah, but, I mean, you really... I, I, I'm this, basically, this is all my own wish list, obviously. Right, yes. I'm basically yeah. saying they're going to come out with a bigger iPad. It's going to be the exact same. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm it's hoping... It's probably true. I mean, I'm, it's going to be true. iOS. It's going to be... Yes. What is it? Nine's coming out soon, right? And it's it's going to be exactly like your phone which is exactly like your ipod touch which is exactly like your ipad and your ipad pro but i you did make an interesting point when you said they call it a pro they're not calling it a plus and pro in the mac world is like the real deal you know like the macbook pro is a significantly better device than a macbook and the uh, the mac pro the computer is significantly better than my iMac or than my Mac Mini here, you know. Yeah, the Mac Mini, and you have the MacBook Air, you know. Like it's just not comparable um, right. to those Pro devices. And anyway, yeah. So that's kind of what you're thinking is like they're going to come out with something totally that just kicks, if they're going to stay true the to that. Yes, if, if they're going to say, "Hey, this is a Pro. This is what we believe. This is our ultimate product." Because to me. Mac advertises themselves as pro being the best of the best. So I'm thinking right. if they're going to call that a pro, it can just be a bigger iPad. A bigger iPad. That's what I'm trying to say. So yes. where do you actually – I mean I, I understand the logic of there, but do you actually think they're actually going to put something out like that? 
I wish I researched more because I don't know. Right. But. And like I said before, our new show, <laughs> our other shows, we will actually have time to research. <laughs> this show was literally not even in anybody's brain 48 hours ago. So exactly. we, uh, we were just going to do an audio test and then we decided the show is going to be so casual. Anyway, we might as well hit record and just you know put it up there. I'm glad you pointed it out because we do have little debates like this at work. We're just like, you know, have these ideas. <laughs> yeah. Not necessarily looking into the product, but just you know, the wish and, and you want these companies to excel and do better things, but we're the consumer. We wish we had this thing. So. Right. Anyway. I mean, I would be way excited about some new iPad pro that was somehow much better. Maybe they're going to only put force touch on the pro. Yeah. Um, get some kind of force touch pen. I read, I, I read one tiny little article about it yesterday because I thought we're going to be, doing this podcast i should i should have something to back it up other than just my brain and absolutely and that was kind of one of the rumors they didn't say that the other one won't have force touch but they were saying that this one will and this one might have some type of force touch stylus pen which if if apple does it they do it right you know what i mean like like you know the the surface came out with this force they're not really force touch really but i mean they came out with this this pressure sensitive pen stuff but it it didn't work worth shit, and even now on their thir- <laughs> on their third generation, it's and you still- can say it first hand because you owned it. I owned Everybody it. Everybody needs to know. And yes. yeah, and on their third generation, they're barely starting to get the hang of it. And Apple, yes. I think they wait. They don't release something that doesn't work. Name one thing yeah. they've released recently um, <laughs> that's yeah, like doesn't I guess work. Recently, yeah, you can't. If they come out yeah, with an you, app, if they come out with a phone or anything, it's been well thought out, well put into the test. And- but they are safe. Like they don't really. Yes. You know, with Windows 8 was like a huge risk and it proved to be a bad decision because Windows 8 is a huge failure. But it I don't was, think it, nobody tested that thing. It was all of a sudden out. Right. But I respected it. And everybody's it. like, what, what is this? You know, I respected yes. it, though. That was a big jump. Think of Windows 7 to Windows 8. I mean, oh, my God. It was like a whole new yeah. world. And, I mean, of course, they always – they wanted you to use the Metro side and everything, but nobody ever did. Um and now, you know, Windows 10 comes out now. It's kind of like a mix of the both, but it's really just like Windows 7 with, with live tiles. <laughs> Seven and a half. Right. It's like they went back in time. Right. I mean, and, and, but and it's... did it the way this should have been the whole time. It shouldn't have made a all that fast. It should have made something in right. between. And my Windows 10 experience is kind of limited. I used it on that Surface 3 before I sold it. And it felt sluggish and slow, but that's because Surface 3 has a slow processor and two gigs of RAM. And so I'm thinking on a good computer, Windows 10 would be pretty cool. But I don't know. You're kind of moving away from that altogether. You're like this open source guy, like Android and Linux. Yes. I'm moving that way as I get older. I'm just like, yeah, I don't know. It it, it just, things are moving in the direction that doesn't interest me anymore. I definitely don't like Windows 8. And I'm moving away from iOS just because it's, more than anything, more or less, is the fact that I, I rely on Google services. Yeah. And when you do that, then on Android, you're going to be better off. Just things run better. Things sync better. Right. And, and that's kind of where I've been going lately, yeah. But, I mean, uh, so you're actually, I was saying Linux, but you're actually Chromebook in it right now, right? Also, yeah. Been into Chromebook, which is based on the Linux uh, Chromium browser. Really? But yeah. the browser, not like the OS, but just kind of like the whole OS is yeah. the browser, right? I mean, that's a Chromebook, right? I don't even know how they do that, but they do have some certain license to, to just make an OS out of a browser. <laughs> um. And how long have you had the Chromebook? The Chromebook I've had, oh, I don't know, I guess a few months now, like three or four months ago I got it, I think. And what do you, what do you think about it? I never hear you talk bad about it. Um, It's good. I think... Um, it's like having your phone in a bigger form and you have that keyboard okay and it doesn't get any viruses you know but it's it also stops at the getting some work done type thing you can't really get too far into it. are you still there uh oh we've lost you hold on there let me see we have lost Ronnie in the middle of the interview <laughs> this will be edited out for sure. <laughs> I 
<laughs> what the heck happened? It just it just died. I didn't even right. have any lag or any. You weren't cutting out or anything. All of a sudden, it just died. Like I don't know. Weird. Yeah, as I was talking, he, <laughs> I was like, I was like, he's, he's not saying anything. Uh, all of a sudden, I'm left that... there all alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's awkward. Oh my god. I'm scared. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not like it's a live show. I don't know why I was freaking out. But, but. it does feel that way. It has that feel to it. <laughs> Are you still recording? Oh, that? yeah. I didn't stop. I, I'll, I'll either edit it out or I'll leave it in. I don't know either way. It'd be funny. Yeah, um, yeah it would be. You were talking about the Chromebook. <laughs> yeah. It, um, I don't remember exactly where you left off. But I, I am interested genuinely in, in, in it because they're like $200 for pretty decent Chromebooks out there. Yeah. And what do you think? Is it worth it or what? The thing is, is is, is a lot like, uh, like I said, it was it's like having an, a, an Android phone, but you can, it, it's it's all like you take an Android phone and you make it into a laptop. So now you have certain apps that you have on your phone. Right. That are in it. But the thing that sucks about them is you, you can't really load games that aren't optimized for it, which is not that many of them. Right. Um, you, I don't know. You can't just go there and say, "I want to have iTunes in here," or Internet Explorer per se, like Firefox or something else. You, you just have to stick to what they give you. Yeah. And their market is really limited. But what it does, it does well. If you like doing Google Docs and stuff like that, yeah, you'll be just fine. It runs great for that kind of stuff. Yeah, my my nephew actually has one, and uh, you know he was playing around with it and. And it's fast. Like, it, it, it's, it was quick. It seemed like, yeah. you know, and I'm like, wow, that's a cool computer. He's like, it's a Chromebook. It was like $229. I'm like, that's, like, cool. $229. $229. What can you get that runs good for $229? That's like an iPod Touch. Yes. And I know we always value everything in the <laughs> in prices of, <laughs> of, of, of Mac <laughs> portables. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> whenever I think that's it's a little easier to have value iPads. on it. Yeah, because <laughs> then you, you're like, okay, how hard? How much is it going to cost me? How, how hard is it going to be for me to spend that? Right. And yes, if you have to buy two iPads to have something, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Well, damn. Yeah, I I was I've been pretty interested in the Chromebooks, but I've never ended up getting them because I mean I use my computer for a lot kind of stuff like we're doing now. I I, I download a lot of software. I I yes. buy a lot of software, music production stuff, and yeah, and it's like yeah, that, yeah, out of the question on a Chromebook, right? I mean, I, it, I wonder if exactly. You could put... I don't know if you have any software or anything that you could do basic. Like, I, I'm trying to think if you could do anything like GarageBand or something like that. I don't think they're there yet. You right. know, they're just it's just so basic, but it runs good. It's good for like. I don't know, check in your email and you want to do it fast and quick and easy and you still have this full keyboard and yeah. this big screen. and, and yeah. It's almost like if, if you're going to stick to the basics, the Chromebook is definitely the way to go. But the moment you go outside that, it's like, I want to do this, I want to start working, it, it, it becomes really limited. Right. And that's kind of what I was feeling. And that's kind of that's kind of why I always end up going to Mac because I... I feel like it's as fast and smooth as anything could possibly be, but you don't. I never feel very limited on it either. I, I mean, no. actually, I mean, you just kind of have what you have. But I mean, there are the limitations of some things that just only. You know, I play a lot of. I play online poker, and uh, yeah. and there's some software <laughs> out there that only runs on Windows. You know, and I and I am limited in that sense. Like if I had Windows, I could have, you know, this heads up display for my poker software and this and that, and I and I can't. I'm in Mac. And, yeah, you can't do that. And I bought a Surface recently, a Surface Three. Yeah, actually, I wanted to compare the Mac, the the Surface with with the Chrome OS. Like, if we're just talking about Chromes and against that, yeah, sort of computer. And I, and I still think you'd be, you know, with the Surface being slow and everything, you still could do all this other stuff, though all the all the different tasks, yeah, highlighting think, all your Adobe Reader and all this stuff you've told me. I think the that surf- if we can get into it, you will realize that it's it's. You can do a lot more. Yeah, I think the Surface would kind of be the opposite spec uh, end of the spectrum um, because it it can do a lot. It's a full yes. Windows 10 computer. Yeah, let's not forget. But it's let's not forget. fast, you know. And and again, at the other end of the spectrum, it's super freaking expensive. Yeah, it is. It's 
really expensive. In my opinion, the Surface is really expensive. But, you know, it's a thin, it's a really thin computer with all solid state and everything. So what do you expect? And it's touch screen and... But, yeah, you're paying for that technology. The technology is there, but it just feels like it needs to be better if you want me to pay that much type thing. Yeah, because you, you, you're not going to get the Surface unless you get the the uh, accessories. And that's like another 200 bucks. Yes. And so people are like, oh, it's only five ninety nine, four ninety nine, dollars And I'm like, uh-huh. it's it's six twenty nine, dollars you know? <laughs> and and that's without the the pen, you know? And, and because it is a full OS on a third, on a, what is the size of that screen? 12 or something? 11? I can't even yeah. remember now. I mean, it's a full OS on there. You need that pen. Nothing is looks any bigger. You know, like, it's not like an iPad where everything is designed for a 9-inch screen. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, everything is optimized for that size and, you know, really... <laughs> so yeah, you, on, you on the surface, it would be hard to do, like, different things. Like, having a program... Let, let's just put iTunes, for example, and you have that little scrolling bar on the side and an 11.9 or whatever inch size it had and yeah and and try to highlight stuff try to scroll down it's just i mean you can use the touch but i'm talking when you get into basics of like highlighting something or, or saying i want to delete these couple songs right here if you were to do it with your finger it, it would it, it just wouldn't work yeah exactly and and the surface i mean i i had a lot of fun with it i just thought it was overpriced i got a really good deal on it and I ended up selling it for a profit, which is kind of unheard of in the yeah. electronic world. You know, I bought it brand new and sold it used for a profit, um, like two months later, three months later. Um, and I, I'm sitting here waiting for the Surface 4. Where the, where the hell is the Surface 4? The Surface 3 has been out <laughs> since April of 2014. I know. It will lapse it for a year. And, and everybody's uh, saying it's going to come out with Windows 10. It's going to come out with Windows 10. Windows 10 is out. And yes. I don't, I don't see a Surface Four. I don't know. So they're putting out this iPad Pro to compete with the Surface Four Pro, and the Surface Four Pro might not even exist. It, it, it's not even on the end of the horizon, right? Like we haven't heard anything new on it. I haven't seen they're, anything. It's not like they're I'm really probably going to <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's true. I, when I they're was, probably going to put it out though. I just don't know why they're waiting so long. And I know they changed CEOs. I know that Microsoft's been losing a lot of profit. A lot of yeah. Their revenue, and so I don't I, know if they're just trying to change their business a little bit, maybe push those products back. I vaguely remember reading something, and this is one of those situations where I'd actually have the source with me if we planned this thing. But yes, I vaguely like remember. I vaguely remember reading that they had some kind of deal with Samsung um, SD two fifty six gigabyte SD drives um, really? that was that didn't go through or something, and it was supposed to go through, and now it went through, and it's going to be October or something. Um, I'm, oh, I got delayed just yeah. the, working out the agreements. Um, but I I could just be making that up. I mean, not making it up, but it could, it could yeah, be. It was vague. I just yeah. barely remember that at when yes, we started exactly. talking about it. It's like, no, they had something out there, but you never know. Who knows? And, and stuff like that delays products all the time, you know? Yeah. It's just you got all the manufacturers trying to put the product together. And yeah. I don't know. I honestly don't know how they come out with phones so fast because it's like. It seems like every little company and their dog is involved, you know? Well, it's, it's, they push them out. Uh, Samsung puts out a new phone, what, every three weeks? I mean, <laughs> everybody bitches about iPhones putting out a new phone every three months. It's like iPhones put out a phone every one year since the yes. beginning of the iPhone. Yeah, and and I, I, will, I will agree with people. It's kind of absurd that these $800 devices only are only good for a year. Um, yeah. But at the same time why not you know people want a new one we can make it slightly better it's homer simpson you know he said that thing he's like i don't wait in long lines unless it's for a slightly better cell phone you know (laughs) and it's true they've never had like this huge leap between phones but for whatever reason and i'll admit it that that i'm whatever i'm a Uh slave to them because once they put out that new one mine will feel shitty and I hate the fact that I'm aware that they're manipulating me, but I allow it. And I, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that second it's, that it's, phone comes out, it's I'm a like, combination of things. Though it's the new OS, you know, yeah. it has to have a better processor to run better. And mm-hmm. They add those new features. They always have those killer features that, like the Touch ID, that you just can't live without. Yeah, and you're living without it right now, right? Uh, yeah, and it, it sucks. sucks. I, I do miss that. <laughs> so he he downgraded from an iPhone six plus 
yes. to a... It's not a downgrade. <laughs> I mean, a Nexus 6, guys. I have a Nexus 6. And yeah, I... a $200 phone. Um... No, it's not, not even close, man. <laughs> this thing is beautiful. It's bigger than your phone. Yeah, it's, it is. It can do the Wi-Fi calling, finally. And... Yeah. I don't know. Well, you're doing, I, I you're doing this on your... Complain. No, you're, you're doing this on your iPad, right? Or are you doing this on your phone? Oh, negative. I, I got the uh, Skype app on here. I'm running. So, I'm running just fine, so and I've been able to multitask. You're running your show, end of the show right now, on that phone. On a Nexus 6. Nexus 6. Hey, you guys got to give me a hand for this. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm using a, a much more expensive Mac Mini <laughs> tied into a $500 uh Sapphire Pro audio yeah. interface and a three hundred dollar mic and we uh, sound how do you the guys same. Com- the sound? <laughs> I know, isn't that crazy? And you're using the headphones that came with your two hundred dollar phone. <laughs> no, you yeah, pay, you paid well, three hundred dollars well, for that phone, right? These are yeah, these are uh, from the iPhone five. I oh, think okay. iPhone yeah. S- yeah. headphones and the little speaker, little microphone on those has always impressed me. They yeah. always have. I I started using these them. For, are, YouTube two years videos. old and they sound like you said i haven't hurt myself but i think it'd be it's, impressive it's, cool. it's not like yes. you're in a studio or anything but it's not really like i am either i got all these bad walls for bad echo and and it sounds good though. we're gonna be uploading this pretty low quality anyway just because you don't get a whole lot of podcasts aren't high quality stuff they just aren't like yeah. the high fidelity i mean Yes, um, it's just to listen to and yeah. hear voices. So it's the content that matters. It's exactly, like, it's me and you, we're the important ones. <laughs> well, I've effectively gone through the four notes that I took for the show notes for the, <laughs> that I typed yeah. up the ten minutes before we did the show. That's um, pretty good. Oh, there was one last thing. Um, there is rumor of USB C on the iPad Pro. Um, that would be kind of cool. That would be cool. But you think they're really going to get away from the connector they've had on every device they've ever... I mean, yeah. It, it, it's weird because, I don't know, I guess my personal opinion is they should go for the USB-C. Yeah. Because more standard across devices. Like, well, yeah, I, I, wanted, would... I always wanted to see that. I always wanted to see Android and iOS and iPhones or whatever Mac products to have the same connection, and that's never happened before. Have you a, have you used this USB C at all before? I have not. I I, I've never plugged. I'm pretty it sure my next phone is going to have it though. That'll be good. Yes, I think it's going to be cool. I I think that would be a good thing. You know, what, if they put Force Touch and USB C on there with some kind of cool stylus, maybe that would be a pro Mac if none of those things are on the other iPad. Yeah, but that's not enough, is it? I don't know. They don't usually do a, that much. But why would they call it a Pro? They could just say iPad Plus, like they do with the iPhone 6 Plus. It's got yeah, Force Touch, know. this fancy pen, and USB-C, meaning you can plug in like SD cards and shit. Yeah, but it would be the new one. So you could say iPad, what would it be? iPad Air 3 Plus. Like, it, since it would be an iPad Air, you could say those couple features. To me, it's not enough, but they probably will do it just like you're saying, though, and call it a pro. But it just seems like something that Steve Jobs himself would not be prideful to, well, to, to call it a pro. Bringing up the old Jobs he's been dead for like <laughs> four years. I don't think he has much pull on the company. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> well, I <laughs> but I just think a pro, they should, like, discredit that name they shouldn't start it now maybe but. it won't be called that maybe it'll just be called the big one the big ipad <laughs> <laughs> that would be uh, more suited if if they're just making it bigger you know yeah but i don't know well cool man lots to talk about but i think i'm i think we could probably wrap up our first little introduction episode here and uh actually do some research for episode two um <laughs> Absolutely. And I think we could probably wrap this one up unless you got anything else to say. You know, I'm just glad to be here doing this uh, podcast. And yeah. We just try to make it better as we go along, you know. Yeah. It's, it's I think cool. it's cool that we did it. I mean, literally two days ago uh, it was an idea, and now we're here BSing on a podcast. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, All right. Well, I'm going to see if I can figure out my little switchboard here. I'm going to try and fade us out here so okay i'll talk to you later man all right later see ya see ya